What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am playing tourist in my own town. I am doing a walking food tour of Little Italy. Italian food is one of my favorite cuisines and I can't wait to try out some classic iconic spots in New York. The tour is about to start. We're gonna stop at four places for food and you can book this tour through Get Your Guide. I will leave a link in the description box below. So let's start touring. So, you know, I love this neighborhood because it's kind of like the essence of New York, you know. We first met our guide outside in Little Italy. She gave us a little history of the neighborhood and what it was like in the past living in Little Italy. Once we got the basics of the neighborhood, we headed to our first stop of the tour. Up first was Eleva Cheese Shop, which was established in 1892, making it the oldest cheese shop in New York City and America. Here you can find fresh cheeses, including mozzarella, ricotta, and their famous fresh mozzarella sticks. Ooh, they look so good. You can also buy sandwiches and meats to go. We then tried our first sample of the day, fresh mozzarella and prosciutto. After our first food stop, we then took a walk around Little Italy and Soho to learn more about the neighborhood, including the First Police Department building, Lieutenant Petrosino Square, the old St. Patrick's Cathedral that was built between 1809 and 1815. You can take a separate catacombs tour here as well to see underneath the church, but we just toured inside. And a little fun fact, this was the church that was filmed in the Godfather for the baptism of the Godfather. The next stop was trying pizza. We tried a classic margarita pizza from Nolita Pizza. I love how New York pizza shops always show the memorabilia on the walls. And I love just like the laid back vibe they give. All pizzas here are made fresh and the slice is worth checking out. It was so good. Next was Pimiante, where you can find fresh Italian pasta made right in-house. So we're gonna buy some pasta, we just can't resist ourselves. <laughs> and it's all made in the bath, so we're gonna get some fettuccine and what's this? Spaghetti? Spaghetti. Oh, and they have all kinds of different pastas inside. Mm -hmm. These look like they And there's a cat. And there's a cat here. Oh yeah. my god. Kitty! There's a cat? Oh, it's a fresh cat! So we have our gnocchi from Piemonte. Piemonte Ravioli Co. And it looks really good. The fresh gnocchi was so good. I can't wait to come back to buy more pasta here. So we are at our last stop. We are at Ferrara Bakery and we are trying Italian rainbow cookies. They were made in America and it's really hard to make at home. So I'm excited to try out efforts of other bakers and, and you can find most of these stops on along, along Mulberry Street and it's such an iconic part of New York City. And this tour has been so much fun. We learned so much about the history of and the rainbow cookies are kind of cool Ooh. because they are it's a cake but it's um the the middle is marzipan oh. uh, and it's all like marzipan cake basically almond based mm. yeah american we ended our tour with a sweet treat trying the italian rainbow cookie at the ferrara bakery it was so good the inside was a bit more fruity than i expected but it was really delicious so we have concluded our little italy walking food tour and it was so much fun to learn about the history of the italians coming to america how that inspired and reflected on the food offerings that's offered in little italy and the tour is about two hours and you get to visit four food places but you also get to visit you also get to tour around some iconic places and it was a really fun tour and I will leave the link down below. It's through Get Your Guide and they also have plenty of other different tours throughout New York City. Food tours, 
um, sightseeing tours that you have to check out when you're visiting. So I just made it back home from our food tour in Little Italy. I highly recommend if you are visiting New York or if you live in New York and you're looking for something fun to do. You learn so much about the neighborhood. Like I've been to Soho in Little Italy so many times, but our tour guide pointed out things that I honestly have never noticed. It makes you appreciate like those small details of New York so much more. And you know like the story behind every street. Like we walked by a street where they used to sell bootlegged alcohol and you would have no idea now because there's nothing to indicate it, but you can learn about these really cool facts when you take these tours. And we did buy some pasta and this is a shop in Little Italy. It's a about 100 years old and they sell fresh pasta in the store. And to be honest, that's not a bad price for fresh homemade pasta. They have a whole factory in the back. And then we also got some homemade pesto a la Genovese. So we are definitely gonna have a good cooking night. I don't know if tonight we're gonna eat it, but I um, can't wait to try out all this amazing fresh pasta. The jungle in the room has been growing. This is my ZZ plant and it's blooming right over here. And then this is the Birds of Paradise. It's now about five feet tall, which is amazing. We got it when it was like only this tall. So I'm really obsessed. I'm so happy that it's growing and look, it's unraveling here and a new one here so changed into my comfy clothes i'd like to change as soon as i get home into like something comfortable when I, when I like shoot or like go outside for photos or on my trips i'm always like decked out in like dressed up clothing nice well put together outfit but in reality i'm always wearing something super casual hoodie and some pajama shorts around the house so it's still Friday, so I'm gonna get some work done before like just a little bit longer just to get some things done. It's crazy when you work for yourself. There really is no time separation from like work and having fun. So usually I'm working every single day, even on the weekends, editing videos, photo editing, coming up with concepts for collaborations, shooting content. It's a whole ordeal. So I'm gonna quickly, I'm going to go on the computer and start editing a video. So I've made it to my desk. After every shoot, I go through the camera. In this instance, we shot on our double cameras. So I'm gonna go through each of the memory cards and write down the file name of the photo that, or video that I wanna use to put on my hard drive. That's what I'm going to do right now. Now I have the photos from today and now I'm going to edit them in Lightroom. And I have a really cute photo of me in Little Italy that I will be posting on my Instagram. So I like to crop it. Like how you can see the sign. Hopefully I can bring that out more easily through these edits. So one thing that I noticed today was that New York City traffic is back. The traffic today was crazy. So many delivery trucks, so many cars, and the people seem to be back um, on the streets. People are going to work. It feels like New York is pretty much, it seems like New York is pretty much back to where it used to be. And if you want to visit New York, there's no longer a 14 day or 10 day quarantine if you didn't get tested. So basically New York is open for tourism, which I think is so exciting. And we've been seeing a lot of tourists come already and experience New York, which I think is really exciting for New York City. And just like to bring like the liveliness back into it. Like this past year has been really, really different and difficult. So it's always like, it's like the light at the end of the tunnel. And yeah, the streets are pretty busy. So it feels like New York, a lot of honking, a lot of commotion. It was just really crazy. So after getting some work done on the computer, it's Friday and I don't think there's a better way to celebrate the weekend by getting some happy hour. 
some margaritas and some guacamole. We are going to go to Taco Vision. It's like a super popular place for bottomless brunch on the weekends. It's packed, but it's like a really good bottomless brunch deal. And the food's really good. And it's one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. So we are going to check it out and celebrate the weekend. a Friday night margarita. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. They have a really good tahini rim, spicy. I love spicy. We're just enjoying our Friday. It's okay. So good. And it's a happy hour special every single day. We are gonna order some guac and tacos. Oh look, it's here. Thank you. Yes, and the guac just came. Oh, the chips are warm. That looks so good. We are trying some new tacos. These are the ribeye Korean bulgogi style. And it looks really good. We killed the guac. We have another round. Friday. freshly done with my workout. I am literally so red and look how glamorous that is. <laughs> Time for a shower, some coffee, and there's nothing like starting a Saturday with a workout. I've been actually doing this workout for the past three full weeks now. I'll leave a link in the description box. It's another YouTube workout thing that I just caught on to and surprisingly it's the only one that I've actually kept up and it's really tough but I absolutely love the challenge. Within three weeks, my trip to Mexico didn't help, but I already lost like one and a half inches around my waist, my butt. It's really crazy, so time for a shot. What's up, everyone? Happy Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. Um, to all the moms out there, I am not a mother, but I have plants, so I am a plant mom. But speaking of Mother's Day, I'm actually going to Wisconsin tomorrow. Actually, no, in two days to visit my family there for a few days just to hang out. I always like to go a few times during the year. If you didn't know, I'm actually from Wisconsin, so, and I have never been in May actually in a long time, so I'm really excited to hang out with the family and relax for a little bit. So I'm gonna be packing right now. And to help me pack, we actually have our own luggage rack. We found this on Craigslist. We found, we got a really good deal. All right, so we have the suitcase ready to go. I always carry on my Lowen Sons duffel. This fits so many things and I'm obsessed with it. This is my go-to carry-on bag. And then for my suitcase, I use a Samsonite suitcase. This one is really cool because like the texture is like weatherproof and it has like a gray color scheme. So I haven't seen anything like it and it's so durable. So I love this suitcase. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start So I'm done packing, I'm literally not bringing anything. I'm gonna put in some lint chocolates and this coffee that I got in Puerto Rico. My dad's obsessed with coffee and I know he'll appreciate it. And who doesn't love chocolate? And then tomorrow I'm gonna go to a deli and buy some fresh bagels and maybe like some taste of New York with me. And now I'm going to share with you some items that I got from PR packages this week. So we have, I have a little pile of some packages here. I was also gone in Cancun, so things were just piling up. So what I got, this is not sponsored, just sharing with you some cool brands I think you want to know about. So the first one is from 42 Gold. This is a shoe company and they sent over some summer sandals. These are super cute. I believe it's like a suede shoe and the color is absolutely perfect for summer. Can't wait to wear these around because the heel isn't too high so it's not gonna be hard to walk in. And I think these are just like the perfect staple, simple 
style summer shoe. This next package is coffee table book which I love. I'm always about updating home decor and it's called Bliss Beaches and it's by Randall Kaplan and I believe it just came out and it's all about like the most beautiful beaches throughout the world and it spans from like the USA to Europe. You can get some really gorgeous beach photos. This is a great gift if you know a beach lover. Like, this is a stunning photo or if you like a beachy home this is a perfect like home accent you could like leave it open like this on like a console table so i think it's just really beautiful and it makes me want to go to italy this summer so that's awesome this is from cvs and it is their one step closer campaign so they sent over a bunch of goodies including this l'oreal paris a one step toning gloss so i think it's just for shinier hair they sent some, some Olay collagen peptide cream, some mascara. I'm always in need for a new mascara. This Hawaiian Summer Tropic Mini Sunscreen. This is so cute for summer. I'm obsessed with this. I will be taking this with me on my next summery trip. And then some natural deodorant. I'm always down to try new brands. I've never tried this one. Lately, I'm really into a native and I love it. So I'm gonna compare it between this one. What else did we get? Oh. Oh, it looks like a t-shirt. Oh my gosh, a t-shirt, yes. I order a big size so it can sleep in it. That's cute. Some samples of the L'Oreal Revitalift cream. So that is amazing from Stevia. This next package is from Revlon and they always send like the funnest items. And this one I'm excited for because it looks like they have sent me their nail polish line. I'm obsessed with nail polish. I just did mine the other day. So I do my nails at home and I'm excited to see what this is all about. So they sent over this. You can see all of the ones available to purchase on bright summer colors. So here are all the shades lined up. Loving this like pretty green color. And this one's actually really cool too. Like it's really unique. And what's special about these is that they are a one coat quick dry nail color. And there is no top or base coat needed. And they are vegan and 20 free, meaning it's made without many controversial ingredients that may be found in other nail polish, nail polish, and they retail for $7.49. So thank you, Revlon. This is so nice. The last package is from Drunk Elephant, if you didn't know. I'm obsessed with their skincare. And they sent over so many goodies. It's a little crazy at this point. So they, it comes in this really cute, like reusable little bag. And inside, I received a similar package like this, I would say two years ago. So they did send a replenish for most of the items, but there are some items in here that I've never tried. The baby facial is my probably my favorite drunk elephant product it has aha bha acid in it basically tingles on your skin it makes your skin feel like it's like on fire or something but it makes your skin feel so smooth it really really changes the texture after one usage so i highly recommend checking this out you can get a sample at sephora but it's really really good and then they sent over basically the whole line. So we have the the Proteini Power Serum, Vitamin C Serum. We have the TLC Glycolic Night Serum. This is also my other favorite product from Drunk Elephant. Vitamin C Eye Cream, some lip balm, the Proteini Peptide Cream, the Hydration Serum. We have the Jelly Cleanser. Oh, the Marula facial oil is another amazing product it's so good and then we have the electrolyte water facial mask and the last item is the makeup melting butter cleanser so a lot of cleansers are kind of going towards this like a cream versus like a liquid and it takes off your makeup really nice so this is amazing thank you so much drunk elephant for sending this over so with all the products that I do receive, I do like to try them out before recommending it to you, obviously. And sometimes it takes me a while because I like to try a skincare product, especially like I like to single them out. So I like to know for sure if it's actually doing something other than trying a new one every single day. But the products from Drunk Elephant that I can highly recommend are the Marula Oil, 
it's so amazing for your skin the baby facial and the night serum are my absolute favorite things from drunk elephant but i can't wait to try some more items and other things from the packages i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm going to end it right here because i have a full glass of wine waiting for me and and lately i've been watching a new show on hbo called the mayor of east town with kate winslet and i was watching it and she plays a character from pennsylvania her accent is so spot on to like an east coast person that you forget she's from britain and it's insane like she's such an incredible actress if you haven't watched the show i highly recommend i'm like really hooked a new episode comes on tonight and i can't wait to i can't wait to watch it so i will leave the vlog here hope you guys had an awesome week and i'll see you guys in the next one bye